what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about carnage issue 10 uh this this is a really good series uh i actually prefer it to the current venom run which uh i will be talking about venom again soon but i don't think i'll go back and review all the issues i did not review i think i'll just go on from the new issue uh but yeah so let's talk about carnage here this is one of my favorite marvel books um for a while i was thinking about actually dropping most of the marvel books but i i can't i can't drop this title but yeah this book is real interesting with really solid art and lots of carnage so we start off with mr dwarf here preparing to make the weapon that carnage has requested um this is carnage godbreaker and so we see carnage going all crazy with the symbiotes everywhere and we see uh the dwarf and kenneth here talking about their plan to actually kill carnage that they need to take this out now because if they don't something really bad's going to happen and if they fail they there will be nowhere to run and so their plan is once he's done smithing this item they're going to initiate this plan to take him out and Carnage, like, he is getting very impatient. He wants his weapon. He wants it now. So, we see Shade getting very close to Carnage because his goal is to take him out. And we see Cletus. He's got that piece of Carnage attached to him. It's the only thing keeping him alive, really. He's talking about how, um, like, wouldn't you rather be at home? And, of course, he'd rather be at home. He don't want... He doesn't want a psycho serial killer like Cletus Cassidy roaming around in his head all the time and all that. And then, again, we, we cut back to Carnage still talking about how he's getting impatient and he really wants the blade now. And that's when they initiate the plan. They strike him down. He's stuck into the side of this, like, bubble thing. And it's slowly killing him. And only a miracle would pretty much take him out. And what happens is Shade shows up shows up and that piece of Cletus is like my poor carnage look what they're doing to you and he actually touches them and that gets him free carnage uh he turns into this badass looking thing uh pardon my French I don't even know how to speak French but yeah he turns into that awesome looking thing and there's I get there there's a weapon and the first thing he does is he spears the dwarf, and he would have killed him, but he made a deal with this queen um, that he would deliver them to, to deliver the dwarf to her. As for Shade, Shade is now dying without that piece of Cletus there, and uh, or that piece of Carnage. So he has decided to make him the uh, the host. And that leads only Kenneth here. And Kenneth it grabs the item that's been charged up by the dwarf and decides to teleport to the one person that knows how to actually stop a Carnage. And that is, he goes to Cletus Cassidy himself inside of the house. And that's where the issue ends. So this book is really cool because I, I always love books that focus on like a villain. And since Carnage is the main character, uh, it, it's just a ton of fun, and I highly recommend the series. Uh, the artwork is phenomenal, as you could tell from the book, and it's just an all-around great series, and you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, also, Ram V is just one, or is it Ram V? I don't know. He's just one of my favorite writers in general. Uh, he wrote the current, the, the last Swamp Thing title that was really good. Uh, him and, like, uh... uh Al Ewing, I think that's how you say his name, I actually take turns, it seems like, writing the new Venom run. Um, and then he's obviously working on Detective Comics, which is really good. So I definitely think y'all should check out more of Rom V's stuff. But until the next video, guys, I appreciate y'all watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Peace out.